Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today we're gonna do a little Target try on haul situation styling sort of video, kind of like the same style as my Abercrombie videos. Uh, I've just really enjoyed doing those type of videos. You guys seem to really enjoy them too. So I want to show you what's new, what I picked up recently at Target. Um, honestly, I feel like a lot of stores are kind of transitioning, so they're not coming out with a bunch of stuff right now for summer anymore, obviously, and they're going to start coming out with fall stuff. So there wasn't a ton, but I did pick up some good stuff, so I wanted to share with you. So I'm going to start with... Um, like accessories and random bits, and then we'll move into the clothes. All right, so let's start with shoes. So I picked up these little like fake rubber Birkenstock looking situations. I live in my Birkenstocks, I love them, but obviously you're not supposed to get them wet because um, they are like suede and leather. And my friend was actually wearing these the other day when we went over to her house, her husband was making fun of her, she was wearing the black ones, but she bought them to um, go to the hospital with, like for birthing. And I was like, that's a genius idea because A, you slip them on, and B, you don't care if they get all like nasty. So the only thing is sizing wise, I got the six and it's very like borderline too small, but the sevens were way too big. So I don't know, I do really um, like the looks of them. So I'll try these on later in the video for you guys. Um, I will link everything down below for you guys. So anything you see in this video, whether it's Target or not Target, if I can link it, I will link it for you guys for ease and convenience. I also picked up, these little heels. I am not normally like a heels person. And these to me, it took me a while to like get into it, but these are like a braided strap, like small little heel. I thought these would be really cute with like boyfriend jeans and a bodysuit. I don't know, I really enjoyed them. They have a tiny heel, but they're so comfortable obviously because they're like a block heel. Um, I got these in a six and a half and they fit perfectly. I love the thickness of the strap so it's not like digging into your foot. And I feel like I could wear these a lot. I would, again, wear these with jeans um, as more of like a casual dressy sort of vibe, but I love these. They came in nude, but they're sold out um, in my size. So I got the black ones. So I've been seeing this trend of like these large clips, like, and you like part your hair to the side and you like put them in. I don't know, maybe I'll show you uh, how it looks in the try on. But these are just some like, tortoise shell looking clips. It comes with like a pointy one and a square one. I really loved the square one. I forgot how much these were, but it looked super cute. And the quality is actually pretty nice as well. So yeah, I'll show you styled, but I think they're really cute. I feel like this trend is coming back. And this was totally a trend when I was younger. They weren't as like fancy. They were like metal and colorful, but if you know, you know, they kind of looked like that, but I really thought those were super cute, so I picked them up. The whole reason I went to Target was to get a new hand cream for my bed table because I ran out of mine. And I've heard such amazing things about this. I've never tried it. It's the Soap and Glory hand food. Um, I don't need, I can like barely smell. I'm still like getting over a little bit of a cold mixed with allergies, but it's supposed to smell really good. I don't really know. Does it say what it smells like? I don't think so, but it's not greasy. It's got shea butter, macadamia oil, and marshmallow. Ooh. I feel like that would be sticky, but we'll see. Um, and then finishing off this haul, I got some hair care. This shampoo is like my go-to for like keeping my dandruff psoriasis situation under control. Obviously, I'm not a doctor. You'll have to try it out and see what works for you. If it's really bad, you definitely need to go and get it checked out. But both me and Scott love this stuff. What I love about it is it keeps my dandruff at bay, but it also doesn't dry out my hair. So, but this is the only scent, like formula, whatever, that I like. All the rest, I feel like, don't do as good of a job. So this is the coconut hydration. So good, try it out, it's like five bucks. Um, and normally they'll have like buy four and get a $5 off coupon or, or a $5 gift card, so you basically get one free. But this stuff is so, so good. Give this a try if you suffer with dandruff as well. And then in a recent video, a while ago, a little vlog ago, um, I tried this purple conditioner by Kristen S the purple conditioner, and this is the pump version because I'm not quite out of it yet, but I just love that purple conditioner like so much. It's changed the game. I think I love it more. I got the shampoo as well, but I still have plenty of that left, but I use this all the time. Pretty much every time I wash my hair, I use it. Maybe not every time, not every time, but I loved that it came in a pump and this was like 25 bucks. It was kind of pricey, but honestly not because you get so much product in here and it helps like really tone your hair. I've gotten a lot of comments recently 
about people liking the, the tone of my hair and it's honestly thanks to this stuff I it's phenomenal and it's super nourishing it's not like what you think like I feel like purple shampoos really like strip your hair and like just leave it feeling really dry um but this conditioner is like feels like a high-end conditioner I'm in love with it all right so those are all the accessories and random bits I got let's get into some clothes Alrighty, so I got a few pieces and I'm gonna kind of show you them on, but I'm also gonna show you them kind of styled a little bit how I intend to wear them. This first being this little like lounge set. I, last year when everyone was getting into loungewear and all of that, I was A, like just having a baby and whatnot, and B, like I just, I don't know, I just didn't get into it very much. I prefer my like oversized t-shirts and everything that all has its place. But I wanted just like a really nice, like nicer lounge set. And I love, I also never took advantage of the tie-dye trend. This is kind of like a subtle mix of that. So I love this. All right, so the top, I'll leave all my sizing and stuff down below because I don't really remember. It's just like a basic crew neck. It does have like longer um, like sleeves, which I like because um, I do have kind of longer limbs but I like to cuff mine. Um, it's got the nice detailing up here of that like little triangle yeah, thing. So it's got a subtle tie dye, like almost as if you washed like dark jeans with like your white set, but I just feel like it's nice. It's a wearable tie dye for me anyways. And then I went ahead and got the matching joggers as well. These are really nice. I have a pair of sweatpants from this same brand already in like the basic gray and I wore them like as maternity clothes all the time. Um, but these are cute. I got them in an extra small, I know for sure. I got this, I think I got this in a small and I would've gotten it in a medium if I could've, they didn't have it. Um, but I wanted a more of a fitted jogger look, especially if I'm gonna wear them like out and about, maybe like to Target. Clearly I go to Target. Um, but I wanted something a little more nicer and more fitted. So that's why I went with the sizes that I wanted. If you want something more comfy, definitely size up. But these are so buttery soft so you can see they're just like a typical jogger they come down um they are a little short on me again because i got an extra small i'm like five six almost um so they are a little bit short on me but that is like okay they're actually kind of like a like a seven eighths length they go to my ankles i like it um but you can obviously pull them up and make them more of a jogger fit and like looser as well i like the pocket seam is kind of on the outside i think it's a nice detail Again, more fitted um, in the bum because that's what I wanted. And then I just threw them on with these little rubber burks or burks. Um, I mean, they're definitely not as like squishy and as comfortable as like typical Birkenstocks. I can't speak for the rubber ones because I've never tried them, but I mean, they're a fifth of the price, which is insane. So I feel like these are a nice little pool shoe. I did read, don't leave these out in the sun, like the reviews, because they like shrunk, which obviously they're rubber. So I don't know, I think they're really cute. For 10 bucks um i really liked the dark greens as well but they didn't have them in stock online but i think this is a really nice like casual comfy but put together sort of outfit all right and i did want to show you this because i would wear this with this outfit i did not obviously purchase this from target it's lululemon but the quality is amazing i'm obsessed with it um i bought it to wear it kind of like crossbody for like walks and quick trips to the grocery store if like a full purse purse is not my vibe for the day i thought this would be really cute and i think it's cute with this little outfit um it's actually surprisingly large it has so much room in here i mean so much room so i think this is really awesome especially for walks that's what i kind of purchased it for um and it does have a clip and it is fully adjustable all right so if you watch more of my videos and this isn't your first time watching me you know my obsession with this tank i found it this summer i have it in behind me one two three four five colors i just picked up two more colors honestly i hesitated on picking up this color it's i believe the mauve one because i was like mm, mauve purple is not really my thing but this is beautiful i love the fit of these tanks they're eight dollars you guys eight dollars they're perfect i like to walk in them i like to wear them everywhere i think a high neck is super flattering and like just really easy and nice it is a full um racer back situation i like to fully tuck them in or just tuck in the front but i feel like they're the perfect staple for summer i will say um the best bra that i found for this i'm actually wearing a different color right now they have them in a bunch of different colors so you can kind of like find the best for your skin tone and when i'm tan this is good for me if i want it for like a nude situation especially like under white this is the abercrombie like i don't even know what it's called it's like one of their bralettes 
it's awesome. You can clip it in the back, which is why I really like it. Um, or if you just want to wear like a normal bra, I like wearing this where like my boobs aren't like pushed out and huge. But if you want to wear a normal bra and that's comfortable for you, these are just so comfortable with that clasp. Sometimes I find this like super aggressive, but I will link these down below. Just got this off Amazon. You can use whatever bra you want and make it a racer back bra. If you haven't heard of these, they're amazing. But I do really love this little like seamless bralette. It's seamless. It does have pads, but they're removable. This is like one of my best purchases. Like I said, I bought it in two different colors, but I love this. I love this tank. So I just went ahead and paired it with my Everlane. I believe these are like the super lax or summer jean or whatever. I live in these things. And then my classic Burks, you know, I live in them. I would also throw this little like, if we were just going out for like a quick dinner, it just so casual. I don't know. I don't know if this is everyone's style, but it is my style. Scott was like, really? And I was like, yeah. I think it's like really convenient and easy, especially if you're a mom. This thing's perfect. So love these little tank tops. I'll show you every color so you can get an idea. The complaints and I read reviews. I'm like a huge review person. Um, I don't judge my purchases based off of them necessarily, but I like to read them and see if I have the same comments were that they were longer last year. They're definitely not long this year, but I feel like everyone kind of wears like mid-rise crop top or high rise whatever so it's not like it's cropped by any means it's not super long but i think the length is perfect because it's not bulky in the like i don't know the pants or whatever but these are amazing you need these all right so this is another new color that i just picked up this is the pink honestly like this isn't the most flattering color on my skin tone personally i don't love pink on me but if you were a darker skin tone, um, I mean, you can wear whatever color you want, I'm just saying, um, or had dark hair, I think this would look really pretty, but I still am going to keep it because like I said, I live in these things. They're like, I feel like they look nice, but they're also like, can be like super casual or put together. Um, I tucked this fully in so you guys could see, and I get them in a medium. I like them and I think it, they run a little bit small, honestly, because I didn't want anything to be like super constricting. I liked it to have a little bit of um like i don't know room for it but nothing like baggy all right so this white i've already had for a little while and as you can tell with the bralette underneath you can still kind of see the lines of the bralette it's not like the most opaque um white tank that there is but it's still like not super sheer and see-through like like a hanes wife beater or whatever um but i like this a lot all right and this is the color that started my love affair with these tanks like i love this green emerald sort of color it's definitely not summery but i still really love it and i love it with the tan and darker jeans i think it's phenomenal so yeah if you can't tell these tanks are great get one please all right so again <laughs> the same tank in black i told you guys i'm obsessed um and then i tried out these little like jogger pants situation I don't even I don't even know I loved the color this like blue so I got these in a small because I didn't want the waistband to like dig in but the rest of them is so loose and I think that's kind of the style but they're like almost just like you know when pants wear you and you don't wear them that's kind of how I'm feeling this like it's just not flattering it's very very baggy they're comfy so again super thick waistband which reminds me of like a boxer <laughs> I don't know and then the jogger pant is super thick at the bottom as well it's like they're okay I don't know sound off in the comments down below do you think I should keep them or leave them I think they're just like kind of not the most flattering pants in the world um mostly because of this super thick band and then they're just so loose at the bottom so I don't know I'm a meh about them okay so I know this shirt is not going to be everyone's taste and honestly, I'm still figuring it out if it's mine, but I've seen this shirt so many different times and I'm like, God, I love it so much. I think it's so cute. It gives me like resort vibes style. And I feel like these like big t-shirts with the collar have kind of been like button ups with the collar have kind of been in. Um, and I love the print. It's like a yellow with like this floral bird. I don't know. I know it's super weird, but I kind of love it. And I wanted to see if I could style it. So. I love it tucked into a pair of jeans. I got these jeans from Abercrombie in my latest haul. I'll still link them down below, but these are everything and then some. Um, but I thought they would look cute with like a casual pair of jeans. Um, you can also do skinny jeans, wear your hair up in a top knot and like make it more, more like high fashion. But I 
actually really love this top. <laughs> I know it's weird, but I'm kind of into it. So these are the jeans. They just have the big slit at the knee, so it's definitely more casual vibe, and I would, I mean, I live in my Birkenstocks, so I would wear them with my Birkenstocks, but I honestly think this is such a cute look. I don't know, I love the, the shirt. Let me know in the comments down below. Would you wear it? Would you think it's cute, but not wear it? I don't know. I think, I think I'm kind of living for it. You could tuck it in all the way around as well if you wanted it like a little bit more fitted. Um, I don't know. I kind of love it. Okay. So this next top is like, I used to wear tops like this all the time. The sleeves are kind of weird on it. Uh, no, they're fine. Um, it's a poofy sleeve, eyelet detail. It's double lined on the um, front so you can't see through it, but the sleeves are really open, which I thought was fun for the summer. I really wouldn't wear my hair up I would, or down, I would wear it up. Um, and you could, for a more casual look, just tuck it into some ripped jeans or you could tuck it into like some high rise dark denim um, that's skinnier. But let me just show you like this. Again, I just have it tucked into the same jeans as my last um thing and let me see yeah i feel like it'd look cute with like a bun i would go bun the back is such a cute little like cut out detail as well um i love this i actually really think this is cute for like a nicer dinner sort of thing oh and also you could wear this clip i would typically go to one side with my hair more on one side and then sorry i have like a mirror here help me like with styling but I would kind of like just do it on the one side that has less hair and I know that seems weird but I like it so that's how I would do the clip it's kind of like on one side situation but I would probably wear my hair up with this top just to accentuate the shoulders all right yeah so this is how I'd style it with my hair up in a bun and just some like loose pieces to frame my face. And if you wanted, like I said, a more casual look, like a daytime lunch situation, this is what I would go with with these same like distressed jeans. I wouldn't necessarily pair the black heels with this. It's not that you couldn't, um, but these are what those little like braided heels look like. They're so cute. Um, I would probably pair nude if I was doing like a daytime look, um, but this is really precious. I love this little look. Okay, so this last piece that I have to show you is like totally a staple. And if you don't want something like this, go. I think this was like 20 bucks. Um, I did get this in an extra small, so it was a little more fitted. Um, it is a ribbed t-shirt dress, like a midi length. It's got great sleeve length. I think this is absolutely perfect. The extra small is fitted, but not like where I feel like I can't move or I'm not comfortable in it. It does have two slits, one on each side, which is just super casual. It fits me in a really nice length. Again, it's like a ribbed t-shirt material, which I think a ribbed midi length dress can be dressed up easily. I threw it on a pair of these sneakers. I love these sneakers, they're my favorite. They're the Arigato, I'll link them if I can. They have like the cow print toe and like just pops of different colors, which I think it looks a little more casual. Um, but I love these dresses. I feel like you can wear them in the summer and you can easily transition them into like the fall. Um, I would also, I just purchased this from my recent Abercrombie haul, but I love um, these denim shirt jackets instead of like a denim jacket. I just feel like it's a nice, like casual, cozy vibe. So this is another just easy way to transition this from summer into fall. Um, so pretty. You could also wear this with heels if you wanted to wear it with heels and dress it up, but I don't like casual, obviously you guys didn't know that, but this is such a good find. It comes in a bunch of different colors, so if you're looking for like a good basic midi dress, um, this you cannot go wrong with, and I love pairing it with sneakers, vans, anything you could, but these are like more of a dressier sort of sneaker, but so, so cute. All right, so that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a mix of accessories, beauty products into clothes. If you like these kind of videos, these style videos, please let me know by giving this video a huge thumbs up and leaving a comment down below. What do you think I should keep? What should I not? Let me know. Sound off in the comments. So this t-shirt dress, I'm definitely keeping. I own nothing like this and I need to. I own a lot of short versions, but not longer versions, which longer version when you're a mom, you know, it so you can bend over and live life you know so um like i said everything that i can link will be linked down below for ease for you guys thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in my next video also if there's any other brands like if you want to see an old navy one if you want to see an h&m let me know in the comments down below i'll see you guys in my next video
Bye, guys.